Hey, this is Dr. Tang, and I'm going to be looking over the Mega Man 25th Anniversary Statue. Now, this was originally a San Diego Comic-Con exclusive, but since then, Capcom's opened up a second wave for October release. This is the first statue I've seen that's Mega Man's classic blue bomber look. Most of the other ones are figures, posable stuff, or there's some kind of anniversary silver paint edition, not the original Mega Man. They've done a really good job bringing the classic proportions to life. He's got the big goofy legs, the big forearms, and the goofy helmet, but it all works. They've got a good cartoony look. It's all very cohesive. One thing I didn't particularly care for were the lights on the base. The AC adapter, first off, is very short. There's no battery connection there either. The lights on the Mega Buster and the helmet, they all look really good, but the base lights just don't really illuminate much, so they seem kind of pointless. The Mega Cannon and the big forearm kind of get in the way of the face, if you can see from some of those angles, which is unfortunate because they've done a good job on the base, and they actually had lowered the Mega Cannon compared to a prototype version of the statue. If they had gone just a little bit further, I would have liked that more because you really want to see the faces of the statue on a statue of a character you like, you know? The paint's interesting. They've got the matte blue, which is still metal parts, and they've got the dark blue, which is also on metal parts, but the dark blue is metallic. Now, since Mega Man is made of metal, he's a robot, I don't understand why it's not all metallic or matte, unless they were trying to go for a certain, you know, uh, a contrast. But not really sure that works better than if it had been either all matte or all metallic, you know? Still, interesting statue, not everything I was hoping for, but I hope you enjoyed the review.